how you doing? It's Candy. I'm just uh, doing my 23 week update today on 23 weeks because I remembered and uh, husband is not off for a holiday. Last time he was off for a holiday so we were just enjoying the day with him. I am 23 weeks pregnant today. That is a nice big number and I feel good about it. I um, I know that next week is viability. Of course, I don't want a preemie. I don't want a baby, my baby coming early. I want her to come on time or right around there, you know, in a healthy, healthy range. Um, when her lungs are fully developed and her every part of her is, is as fully developed as a baby can have it. So I'm happy that she'll be at viability so that she, if something were to happen, her chances of making it are higher than not. There's actually a girl who is on my baby board, a woman who on, who's on my baby board who just went into labor. They're able to stop it for now, but they're, eventually she's going to have to go into labor. And her, she's 23 weeks, and so I'm just you know thinking of her and hoping that everything works out. Um, I know some babies do make it uh, under that, but the chances are a lot lower, and it's already a struggle even at 24 weeks. So I'm happy that next week will be viability, but... Um, and I'm happy to be getting farther along the pregnancy. I'm also enjoying time with my son. It's been a really wonderful, bittersweet time. He's just, he's so special and so wonderful and so warm and so snuggly. And I have to admit that I have been just cuddling him close to me. And like when we, when we, you know, when we co-sleep in the bed together, I snuggle him close and I'm just really enjoying the closeness because I know that when the new baby comes, when my baby girl comes, it's going to be a lot harder to maintain that. So, um, so yeah, probably we'll get, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it in terms of like, you know, getting him, helping him to assimilate to what's coming. Um, there he is in the background. He's watching, <laughs> he's drinking milk, chugging milk and watching Wiggles, of course, which, you know, is his morning. I usually let him watch one DVD in the morning. Um, as for me, some exciting things. Uh, for the first time, my husband, Joel, felt the movement in my stomach. It was really cool. I have been feeling a lot of pretty strong kicks for a while, but he, I had him put it, I was, oh, oh, she's kicking. She's kicking a lot. She kicks a lot, even more than Tor. And Tor was a decent kicker, but she's like really wild. And, um, she started kicking and I was like, she's kicking. She's all excited. And, and so he put his hand on my stomach and she kicked and he was like, that was her. And then he saw, and he's like, you can see it. And he, like, we saw her moving and kicking in my stomach and it was pretty wild. And I, especially I think for him, because I don't know, it, it wasn't until later that he got that experience with Tor. So <laughs> it was really cute. And he talked to her. Um, uh, she's supposedly, she can hear really well now because her ear bones have fused or have developed perfectly. Yeah, that's Santa, isn't it? Santa Claus. Um, what baby? Yeah, you like that? Anyway, sorry about that. A little brief pause, trying to make sure that he's, you know, doing okay back there. I'm going to go get to him in a minute. We're going to go on a walk. I think we're going to walk downtown or something like that. So yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. He felt movement. I've been feeling great. Actually, I've been forgetting that I'm pregnant sometimes because that's how great I feel. My energy is higher and I, you know, I'm trying to enjoy this time period, this little pocket of time when things have been easier. My back pain subsided. Thank goodness. I still have the rhinitis, so I get a little bit stuffed up and uh, sleeping is very difficult at night. It's just really hard for me to get comfortable. I keep wanting to sleep on my stomach or on my back where I'm not supposed to sleep. And uh, I just, yeah, I toss and turn a lot and I have trouble getting to sleep. So that's still something. And I always remember I'm pregnant then. And then I'll feel the belly and I'll be like, oh yeah, I'm pregnant. But every now and then I'll just like see a really cute little outfit on a skinny little, <laughs> you know, um, uh, mannequin and I'll be like, Oh, I want that outfit. And I'm like, wait a minute. You no, you're pregnant. Um, <laughs> not now, not for a while. <laughs> Cause it's going to take a while to lose the weight as well. Um, 
So yeah, so we're doing really good. I think we have a name, as I might have mentioned before. We're keeping it quiet right now. We don't want to talk about it because it's so there's so much time before the birth, and we don't want other people discouraging us from a name that we like. We want to think about the name ourselves, and then if we choose a different name, we choose a different name. So we're not talking about it, <laughs> not with the you know not except for with each other and Tor. But I think we might have a name. It's really pretty. It's unique, like Tor's name, but it's also really pretty and classic, I think. Um, not super classic. The middle name's more classic than the main name. So it's unique enough, but it's it's definitely a pretty name and, you know, not too out there or anything like that. Um, so we'll see if that ends up being the name. <laughs> and uh, other than that, I'll just do a little belly belly shot and... See you next week. Here's my belly, belly, belly. Belly, belly, belly is big. I've got the backlight here so you can get a nice look at the belly. There's like... Yeah. All right. See you next week for my belly. Yay. <laughs>